And there she is, old Frosty. <laughs> A cold start. Welcome back to the channel. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for all of the puppy comments in the previous video. Uh, hopefully if, if the lockdown starts to lift later on in the year, we'll be able to go out and buy a puppy. Um, but yeah, funny old times at the moment. Great, we're going to feed the other calves now. So over the past few days, Dad and I have been moving some muck out of the yard, some of the cattle muck. So we'll need the muck fork, which I left over here earlier. So lock the pressure on the ram. Then I release the pressure between the lines for the couplings. And then, whoa, almost one-handed. Come on, there we go. Lovely job. I uh, cut my finger, I was cutting a lemon last night. <laughs> you would have thought it would be on the farm, but I kind of took the end of my fingertip off, but it seems to be uh, kind of healing itself. So it's annoying because that's the finger I use on the Manitou. But um, yeah, I'll just use that one. Frosty, all frosted up from last night. Right, she is looking a bit frosty. The Western's covered in muck. We'll uh, wash it off soon. Yeah, we left her outside, so I'll do a bit of a, <laughs> a cold start. <laughs> now, if I go into power and go to the air conditioning, I think if I put it onto this one, it will melt the windscreen. Hey! guys out there who uh, would be curious as to how we're getting on with the Manitou. Well, as I hope you would have seen in the videos, uh, it's been really good. We've really started to learn uh, how the Manitou works, how it operates. At first it was a little bit difficult for us all on the farm here, Dad, myself, uh, to drive and to operate. But once you get used to it, it's a really good capable machine. It's compact, we can get it around the yard, it fits in all of the sheds on the farm, all of the small sheds. We can get it in sheds which we couldn't previously get our old machine in. Uh, so it's been a hopefully worthwhile investment. Time will tell with uh, regards to the reliability and how good it's going to be for us. Uh, but I, I really do believe that it uh, will be a good machine. It's got a good lift capacity, it's got a three ton lift and it's got a six meter reach. So it's very compact but it's very capable at the same time. We're getting all of the muck out here this morning and it does all of the feeding on the farm at the moment with the fodder beet bucket which we had converted the other day and it also as well moves all of the bales around for the cattle and for the calves and also for the horses so it's 
doing it. It's doing a lot of work, and it loads up the biomass every week. The biomass boiler with the wood chip. Also, as well, in the summer, it's going to be loading the grain, the barley, and then uh, also the, sh the muck when it has to be spread. Because we need to get that muck spread, uh, so it's going to be loading the, the muck as well for that. So it's going to be quite busy. We're going to put uh, quite a few hours on it. We've already done uh, about 250, 200 hours with it already, and it's been really reliable, it's been really good. So I'll let you know how we get on in another couple of 2,000 hours, something like that, and uh, then we'll be able to really tell uh, whether it's been a worthwhile investment. I suppose no machine is a real uh, investment uh, because every machine nowadays is a depreciating asset, um, but if you can buy something which is gonna be good to you, gonna look after you, if you look after it as well, then in a way it's, an, it's a, a tool for the farm, it's an investment for the farm in a, in a funny sort of way. Uh, we've tried almost uh, uh, every single Telehander on the market now, we've just got to try Cat and Bobcat and I have sat in those and driven them around yards before and they're good machines but this was just the one I felt for this farm and every farm has different requirements and different needs and uh, it's just uh, sort of finding out what, what suits, what best suits your needs and uh, suits your farm. Did not mess around. Well, it's now started raining. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the drone up for you guys. Don't forget about the Ollie's Farm merch, the Ollie's Farm masks. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. Thanks for the puppy comments. And also, what do you think about the manatee? Do you think it was a good purchase, a good investment? Or do you think it wasn't? Let me know in the comments down below. And I will catch you on the next one.